Hello, I'm the Dad, and today I want to show you something about the new farmer uh, 3.10 or 3.10 for the PS Vita. It is brand new, was released like one hour ago, and it comes with a few new features. Some you will like, some you will dislike. Um, the first thing is they've added a new calendar app. So you now have a calendar at your PS Vita. You can synchronize it with like Google Calendar and some others, I guess. Like you can see a calendar, whatever. You can add new stuff. Da -da 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 -da. And there we go. Now it's there. Our weird event, whatever. Um, they also changed the content manager. You can still copy content, it's still necessary, it's still a pain in the ass. But you can now also manage content which is on the memory card. Technically you can. Of course they're splitting it in multiple apps. Like you know from the content manager you can manage content for like PS Vita stuff. PSP stuff. PlayStation 1 stuff. PlayStation Mobile stuff and so on. Then you can manage your save data. And if you click on video, music, photo, email or others, then the app will open. Like the photo app or the music app, like on the icon you press. The last thing is not so nice. It would be nice if you could manage everything from the content manager and not like those are split in four apps. That's a bit stupid. Then let's go on the settings. At first, um, they added this little thing here, memory card, manage content on memory card. If we click it, it will open the content manager. And yeah, Farmer 3.10, usual MAC address, so it's the usual PS Vita, whatever, whatever. Um, I think otherwise, oh yeah, they added under the power safe settings, 30 minutes. Um, I think this option was first seen in a debug farmer, like at Gamescom, I've so showed some videos about them. Um, but it would be still nice if you could disable it, because it's a bit annoying. They also added an adjust daylight saving automatically. They could have done that for the PSP, that would have been very nice. But yeah, now it's there, it's checked by default, so if you don't like it or if your country doesn't have it, just uncheck it. I like that it's there and since it's daylight saving time pretty soon it's necessary yeah. Yeah you can see latest farmer installed. Um I think otherwise they did not add that much in the settings. They also increased the um limit of applications like these bubbles you can have from 100 to 500. So that's pretty nice, if you have a big memory card, you can um, use it. Like you can now make it very full instead of just having 100 bubbles, which would be a bit limited if you have a lot of minis and stuff. Um, I will do another video about these exploit games. You can obviously see that those are fixed because they are in the folder. So those two are not exploit games, so such as casual games. Usually I have my exploit game right here, but they're fixed, so whatever, and the calendar is new. Well, otherwise, I think that's pretty much it. If you have a PlayStation Vita TV, you can now use DualShock 4 controllers and the PlayStation Mobile. And since I'm talking about it, you can see the PlayStation Store has a new background. And I think they made some of the menus a bit more translucent. So, yeah, I think that's pretty much everything with the farmer. 3.10 or 3.10, whatever. Most of the exploit games are the 3.01 farmers are not back. In fact, every game that was that was gone is still gone, except it's in your download list, like at mine, where it's King of Pool. So yeah, that's basically everything you have to know about the farmer 3.10. And yeah, that's it. I'm that, and see you soon.